and then these little tabs go through those pull-up cords in there holding holding everything closed okay so i just took that off gotcha and that is his outer bag so these loops are sewn in uh -huh. you want to inspect them generally you shouldn't have to replace these but if you get more than 10 percent wear then they should be replaced gotcha which is a little bit of a pain in the butt because you got to pick all these stitches yeah huh and then sew it back in at that point because it's plastic here yeah i'd want to replace this plastic as well yeah because when you go back in and sew you're making more holes yeah because getting in the same holes is not mm -hmm. going to happen right Right, and then for every when you do that, you're kind of perforating it, and it can cause it to crack more easily. Gotcha. So at that point, it might even be worth just getting a new bag, or maybe, but they're not very expensive at least. I don't know. I so don't this know is this cost. is part of the outer bag then. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's the inner bag. Got it. Yep. And this is the inner bag. Okay. So good thing to see kind of where that is. Yeah. Let's just hang out, and then this is the excess right here. Okay. In the bag. Get a picture of this tag for him too. Sounds like manufacture date and all that. Oh, this is attached. Oh, the riser is it's, sewn this to is the back. Sewn in. Wow. Interesting. So it looks like oh, it's got like two different bridles in. Yeah, there's a left and right side. Oh. Huh. Oh. So this is rubber band in. Yeah. I'm going to hook it up by this right here. Yeah. So I can get tension. Makes sense. And leave this because in order to get this rubber band on and off, I have to detach this. Yeah. And these should be torqued down. Another thing I like to do with these are French links. Mm -hmm. So after I torque them, because there's a specific, very specific way of doing it. Mm -hmm is I'll take either fingernail polish or a marker oh, okay. right up here. So then every time I open it up and look at it, can I can see. see if that's moved gotcha. and loosened up on you. Cool. Okay. All right. But you got to be very careful with these. If you over torque them, you mm -hmm. can crack the barrel. Oh. And then once the barrel is cracked, the whole thing can split open. Gotcha. Under load. And then also if you under torque it, then it'll come loose. And once right. it gets past the threads on this side, then the same thing, it will flay open. Gotcha. And then you come detached from it. Ugh. Right. But this seems like it's really nice and tight. Okay. And up there. So I don't want to undo it and redo it. Gotcha. Cool. So this is the one I believe he's had it for about a year. And this is the one I'm pretty sure he keeps in his garage. So I'm going to replace this rubber band. These look a little discolored. Okay. Not bad. I've seen a lot worse. Yeah. Okay, so this can go this direction. This is a triangle one. Oh, okay. That's you. Oh, the steerable? It's not steerable, but it's a, it's three triangles together. Oh, okay. And if that's what it is, I'm going to have to pull out the manual because it's been a minute since I've done one. Oh. It's like three triangles sewn together. Yeah. Instead of around. Interesting. Never, never seen one of those. I've packed one. I keep my minions in line. Mm -hmm. Not putting tools away. Oh, that's pretty cool.
So these are standard rubber bands for mains. Yeah. It's pretty thick. Two. Is that the discoloration you're talking about? Like the little little white marks on there? Yeah, and that'll, if you say it up next to the canopy, it'll start kind of welding itself to the canopy. Yeah. So negative, actually a uh, So this one should uh, pack about the same as the square one I had, or are they about, are they different no, at all? they're going to be the same. Cool.
to a difference in the material. Yep. You can tell this one was a little bit more sticky than yours was. I got you. Back together, but not bad. Okay. Still probably to open fine. Would have been a little bit of a slow opening. Which if it's a reserve you don't want. Yeah. Especially low to the ground. Well, Ron's got a story of a girl 50 feet off the ground. Checked one of these out. Mm-hmm. And it worked. Saved her life. Wow. Was it one of his? Students, do you know? He? No, I didn't ask questions. Yeah, I might have to ask him about that one. I've heard him say that um, there have been some pretty low, low to the ground saves, but didn't know if he had experience with that. Yeah, the guy, um, the one who had the rubber band stick, Jeff Fletcher, um, he was one of my instructors when I was down here. He moved to Arizona since then, but I think. I think uh, I met him and he and did my training just a month or so after that happened. Oh, not that he had to throw his reserve in Florida. Yeah. That guy's a U-2 spy plane pilot, or used to be. He's retired now. Oh, from the military, he flies uh, for Southwest. So now you're just gathering the loops for each side? Yep. Cool. I mean, looking at how long this table is alone is enough reason for me to just bring it to you each time. <laughs> well, these, you can actually, you can do these on the floor. Yeah. As long as you got a clean floor, you should put weights on each end. No, I got you. So you'll still put a cord through like this mm -hmm. and just put weights on it. It's a little, I mean, this is, I can get it tighter with this and it holds in place a little better, but I've done it with that way too. That's a pretty cool setup you got. Actually, we are required through FAA mm -hmm. to have a 40 foot table. I think this is a little bit longer than 40 foot, oh, wow. but minimum 40 foot. And the reason that is, is to pack rounds. Mm. Oh, because you got to pull the, I guess, does the apex go a lot longer and then you touch it, yeah. Yeah, on a pilot bailout rig, I'll use the whole table. The, actually, I'll have to hang the container off the end, uh -huh. and I'll have the apex all the way up here on some of them. Oh, that's crazy. How often do you um, pack reserves for people? I mean, is this like a daily thing, or is this a... Yeah, i got a you know, steady workflow. Cause yeah. All of um, our gear... Mm -hmm. is regulated yeah so we have to pack it every 180 days oh wow and that's that's a makes sense so if our, rate, our stuff is out of date and we get ramp checks it's a huge fine gotcha and that's so the pilot can use his license over it oh wow the drop pilot or the skydiver or both the, is it the drop pilot. The, oh, wow. The one flying the plane and loses wow. license for it. Well, that would be no good. I guess it's skydiving, do they have ratings as well? Or is there a license for skydiving? Yeah, yeah well, we, we have our own regulations called USPA, United States Parachute Association. Gotcha. And they've done a really, really good job of kind of keeping the government's hands out of uh, skydiving. Yeah. Um, so that's why we were able to make the advances that, that we have been able to make. I mean, if government I gotcha. hands were still in it, we'd still be jumping around. Yeah. I think it's kind of how the USPPA is for, uh, powered paragliding. Trying to self-govern and keep, uh, keep the government from putting any more restrictions on us. I think powered parachutes, they're, they're a bit heavier and have, you know, obviously big parachutes instead of paragliders. They've gotten regulated really heavy. 
Um, we're not there yet, and I think we're trying to hopefully avoid it. Then again, I don't know if it'd be such a bad thing to require a reserve to be repacked every six months. <laughs> and as with these, every year even. Every year is fine. Yeah. Cool. All right. Actually, on a regular reserve, we're going to regulate it at 180 days, unless it's a natural fiber like silk, but we don't use silk anymore. Hmm. It's all normal fabric. But it, the military has tested it out, and they had a reserve up to three years intact. And it, it still opens. What? It just opens. Slow. Right. Check this out. It feels like there should be one in the middle of the There's not. <laughs> this is such a cool process. Really appreciate you letting let me watch it yeah. and video it. Don't for door policy. one thing I always tell fun jumpers if you walk into a loft and they don't let you watch yeah. grab your stuff and turn around and walk uh, out yeah that's probably a good point Ron talks rather highly of you so I completely trust you it's just nice to see the process I wouldn't know one way for the other from another. Except I guess now I would have something to compare it to. Like Ron, he's good people. Yeah. Been making shirts for him. I got a side business out of my garage. Oh no way! Uh, screen printing and embroidery. Very cool. So you're where the uh, Lone Star shirts are coming from. Yeah. Do you do his uh? His wing bags too? His what? His wing bags? I have it. I think it is he's gonna end up starting to ask me for some of that. Yeah. I bought and a even his training harnesses. Oh yeah. Yeah, I bought a new ones to do them. Yeah. I think the wing bag I got from him he actually gets from another another vendor, so they may they may come with the screening already on there.
So from your perspective, is there really any difference between square and square round? I don't have enough knowledge to tell you anything. Yeah. I mean, I know a lot of people are, and a lot of things are going to a square round. Mm -hmm. And I don't know enough about the technology to tell you what's different. I got you. But packing wise, it's not really any different. These little ones that don't come on all the way, mm -hmm. that's where there's a uh, vent. Oh, okay. So this one has vents in the top instead of them, well, and not just the corners like mine does? And this actually is the same. Okay. It has four vents on every corner. To another one. Gotcha.
I'm jealous when his is done. It's going to be all nice and neat and in his outer container ready to go. I still have to fit mine on the frame. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good reason to go with the front reserve right there. Cut some more rubber bands. Yeah. The rubber bands on the lines reminds me of uh, model rockets, the little mini parachute in there. <laughs> Folds up, puts a little rubber band around it. So what kind of lifespan do you see on rubber bands on a reserve that's just kept outside? I mean, one year max, two years max? Or yeah. It just depend, yeah. yeah one good. year to be safe, but... Well, and like, yeah, one year. But on, like, ours, uh -huh. we don't use rubber bands on the reserve. Well, oh, I should okay. say there's one manufacturer that does. <laughs> we use uh, the safety stove. So on the reserve, we have a, a free bag. And we call it a free bag because it's not attached to the canopy. Oh, okay. But all it is is a bag that... So it's kind of like the same system here. Yep. It's not attached to the canopy. Hmm. Whereas our mains, the D-bag is attached. And it stays with the canopy after opening. Oh, okay. Huh. But those, we just have two stoves through what's called a safety stove, which all it is is 8-inch bungee cord oh, okay. made into a loop. Oh. And then everything else just gets S-folded into a pocket. Cool. But with rubber bands... It's quicker and easier for a main, mm -hmm. but it's um, it's more susceptible to malfunctions. Because mm. you can get tension knots and, or out of sequence openings and stuff like that. Gotcha. Huh. Do you still so have to worry about that with the reserve or not really? I mean, yeah, the, the way the reserve is set up is is it slowly pulls the lines out. You get full line stretch, and then mm. the free bag opens up. Gotcha. Allowing the parachute to come out. So it stages it. Hmm. But it's a lot le likely of a malfunction. If you have a malfunction on your main, you still have your reserve. Yeah. And you have a malfunction on your reserve, that makes for a bad day. Sure. <laughs> so do these rubber bands all have about the same tension as the ones that were on there before? Like, is there, 
or is it better to have less attention than more or is do you want to have well, both about the same you want them to hold in place mm -hmm. <clears throat> having more tension mm -hmm. will cause for a slower opening mm -hmm. the less tension the quicker opening but also with the less tension and what i was getting is is these are sitting on there i didn't like the way they're sitting on there mm -hmm. so i went with double gotcha is that they, they can just slide right off and then you can have a tension knot and essentially you're doing a lined up with this and having each one sorted out mm -hmm. you're staging that opening gotcha. as it's coming if this was just to come out and these rubber bands right here mm -hmm. you can have it twist around you have it entangled with you you can also have tension knots just bundle up a piece of mess gotcha this way it stages it so you don't have any of that There's not so much tension on there that it won't release. It won't let go of the, the lines, right? We might be talking a five second longer opening hmm. at the most. So that uh, white line that that's sticking through right now, looks like there were two on each side, but you are only using one. Is it like no, different one sizes? On or? Side. It was the the other side that you saw was huh? just the end of the tab sewn in. Oh, okay. There's only okay. one on each side. Gotcha, gotcha.
pretty handy strap for that. Now these are, we call them pull-up cords. Yeah. And manufacturers give them out pretty oh, much cool. free. And people use those to pack and close a main. Nice. Sturdy. Yeah, I need to use something like that when I use or put this back in my uh, my outer container. Take it. Oh, I think I think I've got some paragliding line I can use, but uh, five fifty cord would be okay. Okay. But I I get I get a shit ton of these for free. Oh, nice. Every stack of them on the wall and on the wall. So it's actually made for that. It's just called a pull-up cord, huh? Yeah. This all the manufacturers make them with their logo on it. Yeah. It's you know free advertising. That's cool. Yeah, if you don't mind me grabbing one, I'd take as many as you want. <laughs> that's awesome. So that's it. It's done. It's done. Cool. Well, that is awesome. Thank you so much.